Hi guys, welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome to another match day vlog. This is St. Patrick's Athletic against Waterford FC in the league. If you haven't checked it out, guys, check out the match day vlog from Dundalk and Vitez that I did last night at Tallis Stadium. Cracking atmosphere there on Dundalk. Very unlucky. This game tonight, um, I knew going into it, Pats had a horrible record against Waterford. They've actually won three of the last ten Pats meetings and uh, this season they finished one all at the RSC and Pats won 1-0 at home. That was with Kevin Sheedy in charge, however, when Waterford were shocking, let's be honest about it. Waterford, from their point of view, look a very well organised side now under Mark Bertram. Look a really good side, a far better side. Far more quality, some good signings in there. Nolan Wordsworth, uh, Junior, Patterson, to name a few. You know, three or four players of quality can make a difference along with a manager who's trying to play football, to be fair to him. So um, they've had great results recently, beating Bowes and Sligo uh, up to eighth in the league, which is incredible to think of now. Um, when you consider even if we, even weeks ago, guys, you wouldn't have thought that maybe. Uh, Pats have been going well, obviously second in the league. Um, their target is top three, to be honest. Manny Smith from flying form as well, and he's a former blue, so he'll be playing against Waterford tonight. Um, as will Sam Bone probably because John Mountney looks like he's done his ACL and for nine months and it looks like Benson's out till the rest of the season as well huge blow for Pats I think um, the experience that those guys bring as well it's going to be a massive loss I think to them as well uh, small enough squad, uh, squad as it is um, interestingly the last three match day vlogs guys have done when Pats have played Waterford uh, at Richmond Park Waterford have won every single one of them 1-0, 2-0 and 3-0 Pats haven't scored in them, but uh, this is an interesting game tonight. It's going to be a difficult game uh, for both sides. I think it'll be very, very tight. If I was to call it, I'll, I think Pats might do enough to grind out a 1-0 result, but um, I'm not really now a draw or even a narrow Waterford win. I'd be surprised with a big win for either side. So uh, see you in there, guys. Pats 1-0 up guys, Matty Smith against his former club, his 8 goal of the season, so uh, Pats doing most of the running here, Murphy's getting slagged, but Pats 1, Waterford 0. Keeper, not him, only keeper! What the fuck is he
2 0 saying Pats. Brilliant work by King and Birmingham on the left hand side. Birmingham gets in, brilliant cross, and Melvin Lampard heads it to make it 2 0. So Pats 2 up and uh, long back, way back for Waterford now. Game on now. Junior was upended by I think it might have been Birmingham. I can't remember to be honest with you, but a uh, good amazing dribble and uh, he's been dangerous all evening with that kind of run and wins a penalty and tucks it away 2 1. The game has stopped here. I'm not taking any footage of that, but uh, there was a collision between Yaros and Desmond. And Desmond, from right behind the goal, he's in a very bad way. Um, he was shaking and like he was having some kind of fit or something. He's in a very bad way. Um, shout out to one of the Waterford players who was fucking laughing. I'm sorry, guys, but if you're a Waterford fan watching this, I don't give two shits. Um, laughing at that situation is absolutely shambolic, honestly. But Desmond is still down, everyone's around them. He looks badly hurt here. Um, he's going on a stretcher now, but hopefully he'll be okay. It did not, it didn't look good, honestly. It was, it was a bad incident. Um, hopefully he's all right though. But um, plays obviously stopped. So hi guys, just literally back in the door after um, St. Patrick's Athletic 2 Waterford FC 1 at Richmond Park and um, it's difficult to talk about the game and review about the game, I'll try, but um, that incident at the end, um, it just wasn't nice, it was, it was scary, um, it was tough to watch if I'm honest with you. Um, look, I don't want to go into too much detail of it, but um, look, Lee Desmond and Yaris had a collision. And uh, Yaris hurt himself as well, but Desmond came off a lot worse. And, you know, he was um, he was, he was on the ground shaking, um, like he was in shock or having some kind of fit or something. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into detail into everything, guys, but um, I saw it fairly clearly and it wasn't nice. It really wasn't nice. Um, I just hope Lee Desmond be all right now. He obviously got carted away at hospital. Um, hopefully he be all right. Um, it was, it was scary, especially for a brief moment, because things like that you just don't know what's gonna happen. But um, look, I hope he'll be all right. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure he will. He was taking he had a neck brace on, gone off as well. He was stretchered off, and um, you know, um, there was a big, big delay obviously at the end of the game because of that as well. But obviously, um. I wish Lee well and hope hopefully he recovers fairly quickly as well. As for the game, guys, um, as I said, it's difficult to talk about it when that's your last kind of memory of the game as well, which wasn't wasn't nice really um at all. But um 
you know, Manny Smith obviously scored early for Pats, went off with a hamstring injury seemingly as well, so that's not good news for Pats either in, in that regard. Um, but um, Melvin Lampard in the second half getting the second goal, great play, as I said in the vlog, I think, by it was Birmingham and King, particularly Birmingham, I thought, a lovely cross as well, Lampard heads at home. Um, Pats were in complete control for the whole game up to that point. And weirdly, when they went 2-0 up, it, well, not weirdly, it can happen, they got sloppy. And they invited Waterford back into the game. Um, I thought uh, Junior, very good. Even when Pats were on top, very good dribbler of the ball. Ball progression, excellent. Uh, won a penalty. And he did win it, to be fair. And it was a penalty. And he took it away nicely, even though Yaris gets the right side. Um, Pats had uh, moments of ner nerves uh, uh, come into their play, to be honest, then as well. And... Uh, Possible that Waterford could have had a second penalty. I didn't see that incident as well as I saw the first penalty, which was a definite penalty for me, but very possible they could have got a second penalty. So, um, I look, I do think Pats overall did deserve to win the game, to be honest. Um, you know, but uh, look, they'd be delighted with the win. Let's be honest, they're up in the second. There's a good chance I think they might finish second this season. And um, yeah, sorry, lads, if I don't sound very enthusiastic or something, but um, just things like that. Look, we don't wish bad things to happen. Players, uh, you certainly shouldn't, no matter what club they play for either. You go to watch a game, enjoy the game, enjoy the atmosphere, and the Pats fans did put on a good atmosphere as well, and you, you don't want to see things like that. Um, but as I said, best wishes to Lee Desmond, and um, I'm sure he'll be okay and he'll recover. Um, that's about it guys, please like the video, subscribe if you're new and hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. And that's about it guys, we'll talk to you later, bye bye.